Hey guys, Pablo here. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to another project. It's called Baby Yoshi. Now, as you guys know, there have been many scam projects lately, but we're only trying to find and introduce you guys to the most trusted projects. So guys, how does this project work? What are the details? We'll be covering the entire information in this video. But before I start, I'm going to put out a small disclaimer that it's not going to be any investment advice. So it will be entirely up to you if you want to invest or not. And with this being said, let's start. So I'm here at the babyyoshi.com website and we'll be getting the entire information from here. And before we even start, I have actually uh, happened to look at all their mechanisms and it's kind of some uh, mechanisms that I'm familiar with. And I was actually really, um, I admired these the system when I found out about it before. So uh, I can already tell about their mechanism that it is strong. Uh, if we go about reading about it, you'll get to know about the auto boost and how there are two different protocols for two different, you know, trades. Like if you buy, there's another protocol that's implemented. If you sell, there's another protocol that's implemented. Both have different transaction fees and we'll be checking how they are balancing it out, what their, you know, what their planning is with both of these do we're having two different protocols what the auto boost system is and eventually it will help understand that what's going to happen in the future of this project now obviously these projects rely on the entire market if it's going down then they go down with it if they go you know if they go up they go up with it too but that's like the general trend that every single project follows there's not going to be any difference in between them but what is really more essential is what they do on their own end. Other than relying on the entire market to bring them up and down, it depends on what they do for themselves. How they maintain the price, how they maintain the value of the coin in harsh periods, during dips, during massive dumps. So we'll be taking all that information in here. Now in here, there's this kind of like a metaphorical uh, description of the project. The friendly tiny dinosaur baby Yoshi will finish the mission and reunite baby Mario with his brother Luigi and will fly us to the moon. And followed to that is the buy baby Yoshi button, will, which will take you to the pancake swap from where you can buy it. And if you want the complete tutorial, they have a video which will explain how you can buy it. And not just that, if you go down the website, you get you know, step-by-step -step tutorial on how you are going to buy baby Yoshi. Uh, there are basically like four steps from creating wallet. You're going to send BNB to your BSC wallet. You're going to swap BNB for baby Yoshi from the pancake swap. And this one is the notice. If you are operating on the PC, please enter the pancake swap v2 official website and click connect wallet at the top. Okay, so we're going to see that uh, for ourselves. But basically, you can uh, buy it through this just follow the tutorial and you will be able to buy it so uh, make sure that the wallet you're going to choose you're going to first go and deposit bnb into it first and then come over here you're going to click on buy your sheet this button right here and then click on i understand and import then you're going to connect that wallet in which you have deposited the bnb which have bnb because you're going to use bnb to swap to get baby yoshi so let's say if you have put them in the MetaMask, you're going to select MetaMask, connect it, uh, whether you have the extension or the app, and then you're going to trade your BNB to get Baby Yoshi from here. So for all like the complete tutorial, you can watch the video or the tutorial that's down right here. And here's their chart and here's the BC scan. Now coming down to the, they're saying tokenomics, but this is actually kind of like the mechanisms on how it happens. We'll cover the protocol later on. So supply is one quadrillion total supply. Uh, no more tokens can be put in circulation since ownership has been renounced. That's pretty nice. So they're not going to mine more tokens. Uh, you know, when the total supply increases, the value eventually, you know, keeps on decreasing. So they're not going to put more coins in circulation, which means they're not going to drop the value from there. And ownership has been renounced. That means that it is completely community driven now. That means the community decides what happens in this project from now onwards. Now, 
about the liquidity log our initial liquidity has been burned and can never be uh, can never be removed from PancakeSwap. the same applies for the automatically created liquidity that's part of our transaction tax no rock pool possible so they have liquidity locked the one that they have on the pancakes of pool can never be removed uh, it's a uh, lock forever so and also the, on the liquidity that they're going to add as part of the transaction fees we're, we're going to cover that uh later on in here when we'll be discussing the protocol but this is essentially making you realize that there's not going to be any rug pull in this when the liquidity is locked so uh, i think that's something that is going to help address this project more now coming to the auto boost system now i kept this for the last because this is important now what's going to happen in here basically the auto boost system actually first let's just read it out auto boost is a function that has been built into baby yoshi contract mathematically to do variable buybacks that adjust based on volume in order to maintain price stability auto boost will vary based on the transactions over the past 24 hours which will continue to adjust based on the volume auto boost will buy back variable amounts every time a sale occurs with baby yoshi tokens okay now what's going to happen in here because uh, this is not just the mechanism but it is also a part of the protocol a uh, part of the transaction fee that's going to happen is basically auto boost is the buyback mechanism that they have but it's not going to be like uh they'll do every um buyback on like every transaction we'll be reading about that too but it's like after 24 hours they're going to evaluate how many buys there were and how many sales there were and to adjust the price they will do buyback that it will be enough to sustain the price so if there's like like there if there's more sales that happen in the 24 hours then they'll be doing more buybacks and in that case they're going to sustain the price now this is basically the tutorial and now here's the roadmap but first let's check out the tra uh, tax distribution now whenever you buy the baby yoshi there's a 12 person transaction fee two person is a reflection to holders it is rewarded back to holders and this is through uh, how we're going to make a passive income in this four person marketing and six person auto boost so they're going to use six percent to buy back to sustain the price when the sell happens whenever anyone sells the token let's say if you sell the token then there will be 18 person transaction fee not 12 18 person six person more seven percent reflection to holders so from two to seven five person more reflection will happen if uh, anyone sells the token four person marketing and seven person auto boost which is one person more so in this case they're going they're incentivizing people from buying and demotivating and kind of like uh punishing people from selling this is how they're going to like keep people from not selling their tokens because they're in not only punishing for people who are selling but they're incentivizing people and rewarding them more if they're buying if they're if they remain a holder they will make more benefits other than you know selling the tokens so i think that this is a pretty good mechanism and i think it's going to work out really fine for them i have seen other projects that uh, applied similar uh, mechanisms and it worked really fine for them now about the ntvl system or the wheel shock safety uh they have put a cap that you cannot hold more than one percent of the total supply so basically the whales cannot have any control in this they cannot crash the project so i think that's um they have did a lot to ensure the safety of people's assets to ensure that they make profit and to ensure that the price of the or the value of the coin do not drop now talking about the tokenomics uh we already discussed the total supply is one quadrillion 30 percent burn 20 percent public sale five percent marketing and 45 percent pre-sale and basically this is the faq so basically if you have any questions that's like right here uh for example how do i buy baby yoshi is it safe or like any question that most of us most of the investors have you can come and read it out from here if there's anything else that you have in mind you want to ask and it's not here there's a link to telegram twitter and reddit make sure you join the telegram group that's the most active you go there you ask them questions that anything that you have in mind you make sure that you have the entire information about this project you are satisfied that it is safe it is reliable you're not going to get you're not going to lose your assets and once you assure everything on your end then you should invest in this project to make a good profit and basically this is the entire information that i have for you guys in this video so far so guys to be informed about the innovation of this project follow the telegram pages i'll put all the necessary links in the video description 
So guys, we only find reliable projects for you so we can help you earn more easily. Thousands of investors are listening to us and traders always make good money. Maybe if you buy this coin now, you can become a millionaire after a year. So I recommend this project to everyone. So guys, if you want to buy this coin, buy it now. Let's not waste any time. I think you can make a great profit, guys, because we only find reliable projects for you. So guys, I'm putting all the social media details in the video description. You can also join their community and see more details from there. And also, guys, you can get more information from the admins. Disclaimer. Trading digital assets involves significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital. You should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level experience, investment objectives, and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not. If there's something you don't know, please don't hesitate to ask me. So guys, I'm really happy to introduce you guys to this wonderful project. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video shortly. So stay tuned.